everyone, it's been a while. I've been completely absorbed in Elder Rings and DLC, Shadow of Deer 3, and after countless hours of exploration and boss battles, I am finally ready to share my thoughts. There is something truly really magical about From Software games. They can be brutal, yet they always manage to draw you in. I hadn't touched Elden Ring since I finished it, but diving into the DLC felt like coming home. Luckily, I'd already beaten every boss in the base game, so starting the DLC was as simple as teleporting to Mogul Palace and interacting with the care. I've read that some people find the DLC too difficult, but honestly, it didn't feel that way for the most part. I was thorough in my exploration, picking up every shadow and fragment that I could find, and taking on all the bosses. I will admit though that at one point I decided to respect my character, to use the new impenetrable Thor's ability. Just before the final boss, with only him and Commander Kaios left, I figured my limited gaming time was better spent with different builds. Aside from those two, the DLC wasn't too bad. And the new map is impressive. It's expansive with a remarkable level of verticality. If you're on a cliff, you can bet there's an entire zone beneath you. Plus, there are real hidden walls this time. Some leading to completely new areas, so exploring every nook and cranny is a must. The zones are beautiful and distinct from one another, but the one that stood out to me the most was the Abyss of Woods. It strips you of torrent, giving it a traditional souls like feel aside from the legacy dungeons. It also introduces some bloodborne esque enemies and turns the gameplay upside down by forcing you to use stealth. Yes, you can fight or outrun the winter mountains, but using stealth to sneak past them is much more thrilling and the Aegis boss has an incredible backstory. The DLC also brings a host of new NPCs with their own quests, some more complex than the others. If you see them through to the end, they await you in the final boss fight. Or at least try to. In summary, Shadow of the Earth 3 delivers everything from software fans could hope for. Challenging bosses, intricate level design, and a beautifully crafted world full of secrets. The addition of new abilities and the emphasis on vertical exploration breathe fresh life into the Elden Ring experience. This DLC stands alongside the Old Hunters and the Dark Souls 2 expansions as some of From Software's finest work. If you love Elden Ring, this is a must play. So, that's it from me. Now that the DLC is behind me, I'll be back to my usual schedule. See you soon with my next videos.